Hello, this is Luke Thomas, and I'm going to talk again about one of my favorite topics, again, nerve diseases. And since I'm frequently asked about the significance of a Chingson sign in different congresses, I prepared this podcast for you. Sir Jonathan Hutchinson was a British surgeon, and most of his work was dedicated to the study of syphilis, but nowadays is much more well known because of these very short 21-line papers published in the British Medical Journal. In this paper, it described the fact that in metastatic melanoma, it was possible to diagnose the primary tumor on the nail unit by careful examination of the nail surrounding skin and seeing this pigmentation around the nail unit. This is basically what Sir Jonathan described a pigmentation around an amelanotic melanoma. Saying that this image is much more visible on dermoscopy is another story, but I will come to that later. In 1927, Womack was the first one to describe uh, the phenomenon again and to quote it after the name of Sir Jonathan Hutchinson. What it described was the frequency of the perimbal involvement in uh, angual melanoma in earlier cases, non-metastatic. I will use this statue of Caesar, the French sculptor, to describe uh, this Hutchinson sign. First of all, we will speak about pseudo Hutchinson sign. This is not a true sign, it's just that the pigmentation is visible through the a translucent cuticle. So this is not a true sign, we just see the uh, pigmentation through the cuticle. This is in the case of a nevus, in the case of a congenital nevus, in the case of onychomatricoma, so this is not only observed in melanocytic lesions, this is a case of blue nevus. This is a case of glomus cell tumor. This pigmentation is also visible through the catechol. But be careful. pseudo Hutchinson sign can be also observed in melanoma. This is a true case of melanoma, and you can see that the pigmentation is visible through the catechol, but this is not a true Hutchinson sign. This is pseudo Hutchinson sign. True Hutchinson sign is the true pigmentation of the pyrangual skin, and it's in most cases in the proximal parts of the nail unit. This is observed indeed in melanoma, and this is a typical case of melanoma. This is another case of melanoma, but it is also observed in many benign melanocytic conditions, and this is a case of congenital nevus of the nail unit. You can see a total pigmentation of pyrangual skin, but this is a benign condition. This is uh, ethnic type, an ethnic type pigmentation, and you can see that uh, the pyrangual skin is also pigmented. This is another case of uh, ethnic type pigmentation with pigmented uh, pyrangual skin. Again, this is a very atypical pigmentation of the surrounding skin associated with grayish pigmentation of the nail plate. This was ethnic type pigmentation, but in this case, we had to perform a biopsy to rule out the diagnosis of melanoma, since Hutchinson sign is, of course, a very good sign in favor of melanoma, especially when the pigmentation is irregular, like, like is shown in this image. This is a case of trauma-induced pigmentation with uh, true pigmentation of the cuticle in the case of onychotillomania. And this is another case of onychotillomania. You can see the subangual hemorrhages, the grayish pigmentation, but also the true pigmentation of the cuticle. This is a case of Bowen's disease, uh, squamous cell carcinoma of the nail matrix, and you can see that the nail plate is pigmented, but also is pigmented the perungal skin. And this is a true Hutchinson sign. This is a true cancer, but it is not melanoma. This is another case of Bowen's disease with perungal pigmentation, with, but without pigmentation of the nail plate. This is another type of pigmentation of the pyrangol skin. It's not due to melanin, but to bleeding. And this is a subcorneal hemorrhage of the pyrangol skin, a very common condition also. 
A Chicksons zone can be observed in the proximal part of the neural unit, but in many other parts. This is proximal Hutchinson sign in the true case of melanoma. This is distal Hutchinson sign in a true case of melanoma also. This is lateral Hutchinson sign, observed in this case in a true case of melanoma. But of course, Hutchinson sign can be present in several parts of the periangle skin, proximal distal or total Hutchinson sign. This is a proximal distal uh, Hutchinson sign in a melanoma. This is a total Hutchinson sign in an advanced case of melanoma. This is another total pigmentation of perungal skin observed in an advanced melanoma. But this is not specific since this is a case of total perungal pigmentation in a case of congenital nevus of the nail unit. Micro Hutchinson sign has been described in the era of dermoscopy. It is defined by the presence of uh, pigmentation of the cuticle that is almost invisible under naked eye, but visible only with dermoscopy. And this is a case of micro Hutchinson sign observed in dermoscopy in a true case of melanoma. This is another case of melanoma with faint pigmentation of the nail plate, but very prominent pigmentation of the cuticle uh, that helped us to make the diagnosis of this melanoma. Of course, in some rare cases, it's possible to observe periangle pigmentation without pigmentation of the nail plate. This is observed in congenital nevi of the nail unit. But be careful, this can be also observed in melanoma of the nail unit. This was a nail bed melanoma with no involvement of the nail matrix and the pigmentation was only present in periangual skin. Thank you very much.